In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's Father George Bassus with you from the Holy Syriac Orthodox Church. Today, we have these questions in our video. What is prayer, and why do we need to pray? And how should we pray? Prayer is a crucial thing in Christians' lives because it is the path that connects us with our God. Prayer is simply talking to God, God who created the entire universe, who set the systems for the galaxies, who amazingly designed our bodies and gave us life. In the vastness of all that exists, God actually cares about us personally, individually. Lord Jesus says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. And to dine in with someone is to sit and talk with them, which will eventually make you close to each other and will strengthen your relationship. Like being a friend to someone for a long time, you will start having traits they have and become more like them. You may also use words they use and talk like them. In the same way, when we spend time with God, we become more like Him. We will start thinking and acting like Him. Imagine that you have the chance to talk to, to a very important person as a king and tell him what you want. You will probably stay his days preparing for this talk. Think now about the grace you have to have, the chance to talk to the creator of the universe, the king of kings, who has the power over everything, who is controlling the whole world. If we just realize who we are talking to, we will not stop praying. Prayer does not change God's goodness. But it changes us and it gets us closer to God. In terms of types of prayers, there are many, such as the liturgical prayers and prayers that are written by early church fathers, group prayers, etc. But our focus in this video today is about the personal prayer. Some people might ask, how can God hear everyone's prayer at the same time. We should know that God is unlimited and we can't fully understand that because we are limited. But a good example will be the GPS. The GPS is only a limited app and yet it can be with many many people at the same time, directing each one to the destination they want. If the limited GPS can do that, what do you think about the unlimited God? He is with each one of us, directing and blessing us. Okay, but how do we pray then? Our Lord Jesus had already answered this question by saying in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So talk to God as if He is your Father. When you talk to your Father, you may talk about why you're happy, sad, depressed, about your studies, job, problems, about everything. This is exactly what God wants us to to do with him. He wants us to talk, talk about our thoughts, fears, problems, family, life. He also wants to talk to you through prayer and the Holy Bible to tell you many things because the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. To be able to talk to the most powerful being in the entire universe is the most precious grace from the Lord, and we shall all accept it. May God bless you all, my beloved.
and may his grace be with you and open your spiritual eyes that you could see his hands working in your life. Please ask the Lord to give you the grace of prayer to sit with him more and more until it become unlimited relationship with a whole time praying. May God bless you and be with you always. Thank you.